Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very well. I am joining you today from sunny Barbados. I actually say sunny Barbados, it rain. it's been raining basically since we got here. I've been umming and ahhing over the last couple of days about vlogging this trip and whether I want to pick up the camera. I mean, I always want to bring you guys along, but sometimes, especially because I'm out here with Bambi and there's so much to do, like, Vlogging as well is like another job on top and when I start like I'm gonna commit to it And then that's like a another thing that I have to think about So sometimes it takes me a couple of days to like actually bring myself to pick up the camera and start the vlog Apologies that my voice sounds a bit gross We had the hen do yesterday and I actually was planning to start the vlog yesterday But that was just not gonna be possible because for the first time in four years I'd say I actually let my hair down I'm gonna rest my camera here because my new camera is so heavy I can't hold it up for very long But yeah for the first time in four years I actually let my hair down and had a really really good day I had a couple of drinks We were on a boat like this big catamaran We literally had the funniest best day ever and Fran had an absolute ball Which was the most important thing for all of us obviously it's her hen do Then today is the guys stag do so it's Jay Franz to be husband basically every single man on the island is going on the stag do it's really nice actually because basically every single like woman that was invited to the wedding was also invited to the hen do and every single man that's invited to the wedding is invited to the stag do so they're like huge huge parties so we're gonna have a girly day today here at the hotel the guys were on bambi duty yesterday and did such a good job they were sending me updates all day also i keep seeing like black stripes go behind me on the cam yeah there I don't think so. What's going on here, camera? Anyway, I'm gonna head out of the bathroom now. I just wanted to intro the vlog for you guys in. We've been here for a couple of days now. Like I say, brought the rain with us, but it's sunny today, so I wanna try and get a bit of a tan, because obviously, we have the wedding in two days. The wedding's on Sunday. I'm literally so excited. We had a rehearsal the other night for it, and I was already like, my eyes were already watering when like the song came on for Fran to walk down the aisle. My eyes were watering and I was like, no, because this is the rehearsal. Like on the actual, no, there's a mosquito. On the actual day, like I'm gonna be such a mess and I'm walking down the aisle holding Bambi, um, which will be so cute. It's gonna be so hot though. So yeah, welcome to this Barbados vlog. I will show you as much as I can over the next couple of days what we get up to, but obviously I am on mum duties, so I will try my best. But do you know what? I've actually been like so proud of myself and because I was kind of anxious about the fact that obviously I'm out here to be a bridesmaid, I'm out here to have fun with my friends, but also I'm a mum now and I have a four month old to take care of and obviously Tommy and I do it together, but as the mum, like I do feel a huge amount of responsibility and sometimes you do have to sort of say to people, look like, I know you're all going here or I know you're all doing this or partying here, but like I have a baby and like you can't quite, you know, it's not quite the same. I wouldn't change it for the world, but there are certain sacrifices that you have to make when you have a baby, like, you need to take care of them. For example, at 1 a.m. last night, Tommy and I were running around the room, like sterilizing bottles, sorting out her clothes, nappies, organizing everything, like boiling hot water for her bottles the next day, like making sure everything was organized. When I was like <laughs> a little bit tipsy from the hen do, and I was like, this is just crazy, like how times have changed. Sorry for the black stripes, I don't know why that keeps happening. Um, but yeah, when this trip is done I'm, 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 and I'm on the plane home, I'm gonna feel like just so proud of myself that like I managed to do it you know like get bambi on the trip and home safely and her have a great time and also be a bridesmaid be a good bridesmaid for fran you know take care of my family whilst i'm out here like there's a lot to be doing but i'm really really enjoying myself and i feel like really in control as well at the minute at the minute oh and as well bambi started teething she's literally four and a half months old i googled it and they were like babies can start teething from as early as four and a half four months so she's obviously really early i could just tell something wasn't right she kept like constantly not wanting to drink her milk and i thought maybe it's because she's a bit too hot and i was trying to figure it out and then she put like a few weeks now she's been like like this on her hand like constantly gnawing on her hands and i just thought let me just check inside her mouth like surely she can't be teething yet i pulled back her lip to find this huge white fang like this huge white tooth like literally pierced through her gum like a tooth is literally through and i was like oh my god like the poor baby like i didn't even i didn't even realize but i thought it was way too early to start teething like Oh, a first time mum, like I'm still learning loads of things, but I thought babies would start teething around like six months. But yeah, she's four months and her first tooth is already through and she's been an absolute trooper because she's only now starting to be a bit fussy about it and like to be in pain and not want her milk and stuff, which is not really ideal because whilst we're out here, obviously it's so hot and she can't get dehydrated. Like I really need her to drink her milk but because she's teething now, she's in pain, bless her. So that's been a bit of a um, situation. But again, I feel like I'm dealing with it really well. Like got everything under control. I feel like a really 
in control mum this holiday like I feel great uh, so yeah anyway, I'll take you outside so I've just brought you guys down to the pool area so this is the pool just outside my mum well my mum and John and Zoe and Danny are kind of all in like one big room with like a joint lounge area which is just there which has been so perfect because when Bam has been having her naps I've been having her sleep in the pram just in there because mine and Tommy's room is up there and we can't get up and down the stairs with the pram there's no lift my family having rooms down here has been absolutely perfect because I actually don't really know what we would have done if they hadn't like this is the adults pool um my mum's just there wave mum you having a nice time she said a very nice time. We were originally meant to be staying at another hotel, but like 90% of the wedding guests were staying there. And you guys know what I'm like. I'm, I'm, I am sociable, but I also, on holiday, like to just be on holiday and not have to like chat. <laughs> Is that terrible? Anyway, we changed last minute and we're literally like the only people staying here. So it's so nice when we go to like the wedding things, like the hen do, like the rehearsal dinner and stuff, like we can socialize, but then we can also come back to our hotel with Bambi and just have like quiet family time. Ready for the stag. And I think you're gonna look a lot worse for wear when you come home. Probably. I thought she was outside. <laughs> she's, she's waking up in a minute. Goodbye, my little princess. No, we don't. We Daddy's have to take another day off work. Oh, that's right. Yeah, whenever you fly from States or the Caribbean side. Don't be swimming, Mummy! <laughs> wow! All the babies. Oh, it's okay. My baby. Oh, thank you. Wow. <laughs> Do you like swimming? She's a water baby. Oh, I like swimming. She's a water baby. Mm. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. Hi, everybody. <laughs> what a lovely outfit. Oh, come on then. So guys, I was vlogging a bit this afternoon and then I went to watch some of the footage back on my camera and it turns out I've been filming all afternoon in slow motion. So I'm just chilling. It's been raining on and off again a bit today so we've come under like the canopy bit in my mum and sister's room. <clears throat> I would show you Bambi in between Zoe's legs but she's, she's, naked. she's a naked baby. I bought so, so, so many nice outfits for her from Zara before we came out here. Like I'm not joking, I think I ordered about 30 little cute baby rompers because when we were in Dubai, we went through so many outfits for her but because it's been so hot out here i haven't even bothered putting her in clothes like i literally just put her in a nappy and i don't even bother putting clothes on her because anything like extra on her skin i just worry is making her too hot i'm actually doing a bit of reading like when i'm having downtime i do love a scroll on tiktok i do love a scroll on instagram but in my downtime when bambi's having a nap I decided to bring a book out with me and give it a go and I've seen so many people reading this book it's called Manifest Seven Steps to Living Your Best Life and it's by Roxy Nafusi and Jack my hairstylist Jack actually gave this to me on my Gymshark shoot the other week I think he styles Roxy's hair and she gave it to him um, to give to me and I thought I'd definitely give it a read and um, I'm actually really enjoying it because you guys know I do believe in manifestation and I do try and use it day to day i do believe that manifesting has worked for me in the past i don't think i've actually been using it as much as i'd like to recently so when i saw this book i thought actually this could be a really good way for me to remind myself how to use it in day-to-day -day life um because i do believe and i've said it in my own book that i do believe i manifested getting onto love island that's just something that i actually have spoken about in my book and i do believe and i do believe it got me a few other things in my life as well and got me like I don't know, I just believe like five years ago I used to use it a lot and it definitely worked for me. So yeah, I'm reading this and I'll let you guys I'll let you guys know how I got on with it. We actually tried to go onto the beach earlier. This is when it was I was filming but it went into slow-mo. There was a guy on the beach just trying to take as many it's John. No, it's not John. <laughs> Um, yeah, there was a guy on the beach trying to take as many unflattering pictures as he possibly could of me and I was like, nope, not having it. So when I was getting out of the sea I made Zoe literally passed me a shirt the second I got out of the sea because I was like, nope. This mum bod's not ready for that. Also, I may not have vlogged yesterday, but here's some sneak peeks as to what went on. They had those um, Polaroid cameras about, and I actually took one, and I'm not joking, I think I actually used the whole film on one just to take pictures of me and, and everyone. Um, so yeah, here's some sneak peeks as to <laughs> how I was looking yesterday and what was going on. Good evening, guys. Not the best camera setup. I do apologise. I've noticed one thing. I mean, I'm going to be commenting about this camera, apparently until the day I die, like I've got so many things to say about it, but it's quite dark, isn't it? It's now 6 p.m. We've just given Bambi a bath and now she's having her next bottle. Are you looking at me? Yes. And then this evening, once I put her down for 
um, asleep, I'm actually going to head to Fran's villa and I'm getting my acrylics put back on. I've got short gels at the moment, which I actually really, really love. But you guys know that for like special occasions and for dressy moments in my life, sorry, I'm going to get loads of critiques about how I'm feeding her right now. This is not the best feeding position. I do apologize. But she's fine. She's drinking it. <laughs> um, yeah, I like to have my long acrylics on for like dressy occasions just because they make me feel more confident. They make my fingers look a bit more elongated. Corinne's actually out here, my nail tech, um, as a wedding guest. And um, she's doing a couple of the girls' uh, bridesmaids' nails tonight at Fran's Villa. So I'm going to head there in a bit. Zoe's annoyed because she's trying to vlog as well, but <laughs> she's not. I just keep forgetting. Not forgetting, but then like also it's difficult when we're both together because I'm like, oh, I could vlog, but you're vlogging. No, you vlog at the same time. No, I'm not I can't, yeah, but I can't be asked. You know oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I always do that. If people are holding Bambi and I go over to like give her a kiss or whatever, I sometimes accidentally like kiss their skin because it, it's all just skin. Can I keep that in? <laughs> oh, so we just did the cutest fart, but she won't let me keep it in. Peace out. Good morning. Lateral side squeeze. Back show off. <laughs> I have just left Bambi at breakfast with Zoe and my mum and I am sunbathing a little bit because there's a huge football match on today and we're all going to a little restaurant next door to watch this football match because Zoe's fiance Danny is a huge football fan and obviously so is my mum's partner John too United. so you don't like football. Guys tomorrow is the day of the wedding and because it's been raining quite a bit since we've got here I've really not tanned anywhere near as much as I had planned or wanted to. Can I pop you there? Is that going to stay? Definitely not. It was a nice thought. I have bought some filter with me so I might just do a little layer of that tonight just to give myself a bit of oomph because yeah I plan to catch some rays whilst I, I was here but it's been raining since we got here so haven't been able to do that. Apologies I didn't close the vlog off last night but I ended up going to Fran's villa and having my nails done. I have my acrylics put back on. They just elongate the fingers. I mean, nothing could elongate these fingers at the minute. When I'm hot and abroad, well, even at the minute anyway, I've got swollen fingers. Um, my rings don't fit me anymore. It's kind of awkward. Uh, well, they do fit me, but literally they cut off my circulation when I put them on. So, yeah. I'm going to sunbathe for a little bit. I've got my book. I'm going to have like 10 minutes of me time. Do you know what? Another day down, another night down, and still feeling so, so good and positive about how it's gone with Bambi out here and like how, like, Again, in control I feel. Also guys, I've got this swimming costume on and when I came down for breakfast, so he was like, let me guess what brand that is. Like, is it Celine? I was like, no, it's not Celine. This swimming costume's from River Island. They have a new River Island store at the Trapper Centre. They've like totally rebranded. <clears throat> and I went in there and I found this swimsuit and I absolutely love it. I feel like for me at the minute, swimsuits are the one. I'm not a bikini girl at the minute just because I don't have the confidence. But I didn't have the confidence really for bikinis before. I had a, ba um, had a Bambi, <laughs> I had a baby. Um, so yeah, absolutely loving the swimsuit from River Island. Very, very pleased with it. I think it's a little, little Celine dupe. Right, gang, next part of the day. I was saying to Zoe, when I have this backpack on, I seriously am in mum mode. mode. This is my mum mode backpack. No one can tell me anything when I've got this backpack on. But anyway, <laughs> we, were, we just walked to this little um, restaurant because um, the guys had gone there to watch the football but they should have really told us it wasn't really the right vibe for Bambi like it was really busy loads of like rowdy guys watching the football lots of drinks and I just said uh, maybe we should just take her back and um, I got told this restaurant was literally round the corner which it was but for me at the minute bit bit too much physical activity um, so now we're walking back but Bambi's awake and so he's giving her a little stretch out. Good auntie duties. Um, if anyone's worried about the heat with her or her te body temperature, it's me. Yeah, I'm every three hot. seconds. It's too hot, it's too hot. But then when we're in the room and it's freezing because of the air con, she's like, she's too cold. I'm like, I can't keep up. Yep, Hello, oh gosh. Right, okay, friends for us. Um, <laughs> so yeah, Zoe is literally like the most oh protective you just said I want to be in your vlog. and tonight we have Fran's rehearsal dinner for the wedding so I'm actually gonna have to start gradually getting ready in a bit because when you've got a baby you kind of need to get ready really early so that you're left with plenty of time to like organize and stuff so 
Anyway, I need to concentrate on pushing this pram. I'm gonna be honest, guys, at this moment in time, I'm having an absolutely terrible time. <laughs> I'm having an absolutely terrible time. The top lip is a swimming pool. Out in the corner, they said. Little, just a trip round the corner. 50 mile walk. Cross country. 50 mile walk with a pram that's empty. And Miss Bambi behind getting carried like the I'm princess. Dripping, I'm dripping sweat onto her. Yes. These are the views. I don't feel particularly safe. I don't feel particularly happy. I'll tell you who is happy. I've got a dead arm. That girl right there. <laughs> living her absolute complete best life. I'm not. With the volley. The problem is, right, it's not the walk, but it's the uneven grounds. Look, we're faced with another, another adversity okay, here. All oh, right, I'm going now, guys. Bye. We made it back in one piece. <laughs> oh, baby. We're going to have a bottle, then go swimming. Yeah. Bam, bam, press your costume. Wow. Sweet. Wow, oh, girly. No, it's okay. I'll just give her a bottle now. Yeah. We went to the football and we didn't like it. We didn't like it at all. Oh, okay, come on then, we give you a bottle now. Now, the aim of the game here is to make myself look like Bella Hadid with a few rolls of this. Um, it's not a gua sha, is it? It's a. Oh my god, what's it called? I'm gonna roll and talk, so I've just come back up to the room. I can't, I can't do it myself, seriously. Um, I've come back up to the room, I've got no clothes on, which probably shouldn't be standing right next to the window, actually, I probably should move. Um, I'm literally just. I've washed my hair and now I'm about to head, make sure there's no mirrors behind me. So basically, I've come up to the room, um, Tommy, Zoe and my mum and everyone starts so watching Bambi. I feel like I have to justify that because everyone's probably thinking like, where's the baby? Like, where's the baby? Um, everyone's down at the pool and I'm upstairs. I've just had a shower, washed my hair and I'm about to head to Fran's villa now, which is where I was last night. I brought my camera last night to actually show you her villa because the villa is insane. But again, obviously got stage fright in front of everyone I know and all my friends. It's actually becoming a bit of a problem. Like, I think my stage, fight, my stage fight is getting worse as the vlogs go along. Like, the confidence is actually getting less. My orange manifest book has told me to create a vision board when I get home, basically. So maybe on my vision board, I'll put to find, to manifest a new confidence with vlogging in public. That'd be a good one, wouldn't it? That'd actually be such a good thing to put my vision board because it's been something that I've literally suffered with for the beginning of my YouTube channel, literally forever. I was going to say, I need some help deciding what I'm wearing tonight, but you guys aren't going to be able to help me because by the time this goes out, basically I have two options for outfits for this evening. Um, I'll lay them out for you guys so you can see anyway. So here we have the two options. I haven't pulled out the trousers um, for the trouser suit, but this is, I think I showed you, actually no, I don't know if that vlog would have come out before this, but um, I did show you guys in a previous vlog that I bought this Jacquemus um, pink suit. This isn't, I don't believe this is new season. I believe this has been out for a while, but I found it in Harvey Nichols and you guys know I love a suit. Like I love to be covered up. Um, I think I'll feel a lot more confident in this. And as well, what's leading me towards this pink suit is the fact that I have a bag that I don't actually think you guys are ready to see. Like, I need a moment of silence for this bag. I, I No, I actually cannot, guys. I cannot. So this bag is from Colt Gaia. They kindly gifted me this bag. And I'm sorry. Have you ever in your life seen a more incredible bag? So it's like a clutch. It's hard to get a good clasp of it because... Your hands kind of like roll off the beads, but I put this in front of Bambi the other day and it was literally like a sensory dream for her. She was like doing all this with it. She absolutely loved it. Second option is this slightly more dressy option. It's this House of CB um, dark emerald green dress, which I actually have had altered to fit me perfectly and stuff. So I don't know, because I feel like I probably would wear the Jacquemus suit on another occasion, but I know I probably won't wear this on another occasion and everyone's going really really dressy tonight i just know i'll feel more confident in that but i wonder if this is slightly more like i don't know like an occasion piece the only thing is though i do feel like it kind of a little bit makes me look like i'm going to prom it gives prom i reckon i'm just going to come back and just shove the suit on because i know it's going to make me feel more confident and right now with my body i just need anything that's going to be going to give me confidence because I have honestly, like, I know I keep going on about it in every single video, but guys, I genuinely feel like with time, my confidence, my confidence with my body is actually getting worse. Like, it's irritating me. Like, I really felt like on this trip, I'm just going to embrace it. Like, I don't care. My new bum bod, like, I'm proud of it, whatever. Like, and I am, but at the same time, like, with time, I almost feel like I'm finding it harder to accept that I've got a real journey to start if I want to feel more confident in my body. But I was thinking about it to my family, like I just don't ever picture myself like 
putting on a bikini ever again. I mean, I never did in the first place, and that's why I think I'm like, there's just no way. Like, before I had a baby, I didn't feel confident in a bikini. So after having a baby, I just don't picture myself, like, ever thinking, like, oh, I'll slip a bikini on and feel amazing. Like, I want to, and I want to, like, come on here and say, like, I feel amazing, I feel confident, but that's just not how I'm feeling at the minute. So, um, yeah, any clothes, any outfits that can make me feel a little bit more confident, covered up, um, and like super flattering right now that's like what I'm going for so anyway I need to dry my hair now to make it a little bit easier for Jack put a, just a comfy outfit on head to Franz Villa and I'll bring you guys with me the way that time slows down when you kiss me as we fall asleep in a bed of butterflies Just close your eyes and then you'll see it You don't ever have to look too far You don't have to cover up your scars You're perfect darling just the way you are So before you think to rip yourself apart Open up my heart and you'll find love so bright and I have 4% battery on my camera but before I leave Franz Villa I just wanted to check in because I've been here and not been vlogging because there have been people here. I'd say this makeup was a little bit of a team effort. I got quite far myself and then Holly did have to step in. She did actually offer to do my makeup for today but I was like do you know what I can do this like I've got it under control like Holly's also here as a bridesmaid and to have a good time and I was like she's already doing my makeup tomorrow for the wedding which I already feel bad about because as I say she's a bridesmaid but I just like I don't know I just the way Holly does my makeup like I just adore it so much and I really only feel comfortable like with her doing my makeup or me doing my makeup even though I can't really do it but I'm quite proud of how this went it went quite well like she did my flick for me and she also did my lip for me but the rest I did and I think I did an okay job so I'm quite happy with that and then Jack did my hair a little half up half down and now I'm getting a taxi back to the hotel for Bambi's 3pm feed I'm very organized we've got things under control all I need to do is sort Bambi out get her changed fed ready to go and I need to put my suit on I'm gonna go with the pink suit um, and then, yeah, then we're good for the evening. This is the villa um, where all the bridesmaids, and obviously Fran and Jay, bride and groom have been staying, like all the bridal party and stuff. It's absolutely incredible. These are the views. Also, you're getting a little look at the camera, the full vlogging setup. Look at the size of it. Everyone keeps calling me a pap. <laughs> Everyone's saying, all those pap images that keep coming out, is it you with your new camera? And I'm like, it is. I am, I'm the one, I am the pap. Like it's me sitting on those beaches getting the sneaky pictures of everyone with this chunky new lens of mine. Because I got to say So I'm in love with you What are we gonna do? So I'm in love with you What are we gonna do now? Make me feel loved treasure you are water in the desert my fox my missing puzzle piece make me feel loved protected or we could talk forever on the couch sipping bourbon please in the morning we will start up the friend so today is the big day i didn't close the vlog off last night but oh my gosh this the color difference in you both you <laughs> literally. <laughs> scratch me there, been bit there? all over. There? Yeah, a little bit higher. Wow, this um, new camera yeah. is really picking up every single leg hair on your knee. Really? Anyway, daddy daycare today. I got in trouble for saying that last time. Who's at the door? Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Welcome. Good to save the day. I'm giving everyone a big brief. A yes. briefing. Everyone's having a briefing now <laughs> on Bambi duties. Don't judge the messy room, guys. Tommy's just given her a bottle and she drank the whole thing. Everyone sit down on the sofa and I'm going to give you all a briefing, do okay? Do need a notepad and pen? Yeah, you do need a notepad and pen. Okay, right, so there's a bottle missing. There's two bottles missing. Um, that's the only sterile bottle that we have. There's three in the sink that need washing. Zoe, that's on you. 
Okay. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> Do you know how to sterilise them? No, this is the thing. I feel like Tommy knows. Tommy should be yeah. the steriliser. Okay, Tommy knows. Why can I volunteer myself for a job? Yes. Can I do the scoops? The scoops? Yeah, you like doing yeah, the scoops. Yeah, okay. Yeah, scoops. You can scoop the powder into the milk. Cool. Um, any questions, Majorly, for today? None as of yet. No. A bag that's... Um, I've started packing a bag there for you. Um, but any questions? I'll be on my phone. Can I get... Um, go Team Bambi? Three, two, one. Go, go team, team Bambi. Team. That was so bad. Go again. <laughs> Three, two, one. Go Bambi. Team Bambi. <laughs> yeah. I'm Good morning, guys. My lens keeps steaming up because of the humidity. Guys, today is the day. I didn't close the vlog off last night, but today's the day Fran is getting married. I'm literally so excited. I woke up just like on cloud nine i'm just so excited for her and i feel like today i just have a feeling it's going to be like the most perfect day ever and i'm just so excited to get it started I just walked past the breakfast buffet and all of me by john legend was playing hi hey. it's the sandling Sandy. yeah thank you it's already signed that today is just gonna be such a good day and i'm just so excited so it's eight in the morning now and i'm gonna head to the villa where all the bridesmaids are and obviously fran's there getting ready and stuff sorry steamy 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 i'm actually going to be coming back to my hotel now all day and um, so i've left as you've seen uh tommy zoe and danny and also my mum and john as well um they're all in charge of bambi today i know they're gonna do an amazing job i can't vlog like this it's literally it looks like i've literally got a smoke machine Thank you very much. <laughs> I've just found a moment to grab my camera and check in with you guys. So I've had my hair and makeup done now. Fran is almost finished getting ready. All the bridesmaids are ready. We've just popped on our little silk dressing gowns. We're actually, it's like an, well, so I'd say it's an all white wedding, but all the bridesmaids are actually wearing white. So our bridesmaids dresses are white, obviously Fran's in white. And the bridal party, we're all wearing white, which is gonna be so amazing if you're wondering why I'm in a white dressing gown. I actually ended up doing something completely different with my hair. I did have a hair trial with Maraid, who's done my uh, hair for my mum's wedding. But I was meant to have like two bits down at the front. We were gonna do something quite a bit different to this, but because of last night um, and how hot it was, I just feel like, especially with Bambi, because I'm walking down the aisle with her and stuff, I just thought maybe having bits down might just be a little bit too fussy. So we just decided to push it all back, which I'm actually really happy about because she's done an unbelievable job. Like Maraid, I, I've never ever known someone more talented in their profession like with wedding hair i she's just incredible like she can do any wedding hairstyle like she's just amazing i love it a bit holly kindly did my makeup today thank god and like i told you guys i think i already told you guys she's a bridesmaid as well so she took a little bit of time out of her bridesmaids duties to also help me with my makeup because you guys know she's like the only person i will let touch my face yeah, and i'll await the time when i look you in the eyes and say Oh, I'll say I do I do, I do, I do, I do I do, I do, I do And I'll plant a garden in the summertime And pick you flowers in just because I can or Just because I can Just like that, Fran is married. The wedding ceremony is done. We're just waiting for a car to pick us up to take us to the wedding breakfast, which I only learned today is called, it's a dinner, but it's called wedding breakfast. I never knew that, but yeah, we're waiting for a car to take us to the reception. Um, but the ceremony was literally picture perfect. Fran like took my breath away. She looked so incredible and she did her makeup herself 
and I think it's some of the best bridal, I think it's the best bridal makeup I've ever seen and she literally done it herself, her hair, her dress, like literally just picture perfect, like the most beautiful bride. Quick funny story, obviously Bambi was a little flower girl, I will pop a little video here of us walking down the aisle together which was so sweet um, but when she was sat on my lap in the ceremony she decided to do a nice juicy poo for mummy <laughs> and I'm not even joking you guys it's, she had a little pair of like white um, short knickers on um, to cover her nappy and the poo started to seep through the shorts and I could just see green and also I'm wearing a white dress and I was like someone please come and save me so I like passed her down the aisle through the bridesmaids and then Tommy came and grabbed her and changed her and sorted her out um, I feel like a little bit like torn because obviously trying to be a bridesmaid but also at the same time trying to be a mum but I already did mention that I was already kind of stressed about that but so far I'm having the most unbelievable day and my priority is Fran today as a bridesmaid. I mean I am kind of panicking right now because every single person has left. The only people that are left here at the ceremony place is me, my family and obviously Bambi and her pram. We're just waiting for a car now like literally. The place is empty, it's just staff and us waiting here and as a bridesmaid I think I should probably be there helping Fran but I was feeding Bambi and yeah anyway perfect day so far. I am so happy. Say good morning. We're just listening to the tractor song. I'll probably get copyrighted, so I best turn that off. Good morning, guys. So it's like two days later now from the wedding. I had a day off from vlogging yesterday. You're looking at Bambi's little ball patch. The ball patch on the back of her head. Her hair really does kill me. Hello, look at my outfit. It's from Zara. And I, my mummy bought me so many outfits for this trip. And I've not worn any of them. I've just been in a nappy the whole time. Look! Oh, look at you. Oh, dribble monster. Today is our last day in paradise, isn't it? We go home today, which, do you know what? As I've always said to you guys, I'm always ready to go home. I've had the best trip ever. We've had, excuse me, the nicest time ever. Like, the wedding was just, like, uh, we. I still can't go over it. Like, it was just absolutely incredible, but... I feel like because it's been such a full-on week and obviously it'd be a full-on week without having a baby but add a baby into the mix. Hello cheeky! Cheeky cheeky cheeky! Chop chop chop! I love you! Um, yeah it's been very full-on and I'm just, I'm just proud really. I'm proud that we've made it to the end of the week like was a bridesmaid, had my whole family here, like had to look after Bambi and like get everything done and I feel like we've been really in control and she's honestly been <coughs> the best baby ever like I just I'm just so grateful to her because she's been so like she's been incredible she's not been a problem at all like she's just been so easy going you've been so well behaved haven't you you've been having all your naps you've been having your bottles you've just been so good she's honestly been amazing but I don't think I'm gonna vlog like too much today I think I've already got quite a lot of footage for this vlog. I, mean, I think I have I'd normally edit it on the plane home but not possible, not possible anymore. Not possible anymore, not possible anymore. With you, cheeky girl. There's so many things that I have at home in day-to-day -day life that help me with her that since being away on this specific trip, like I just have missed so much and will just appreciate so much when we're home. I'm just so ready to be at home for a good amount of time. Like, I feel like we've been here, there and everywhere. Like we had my birthday and we went to London. Um, we were into, I mean we're so lucky that we get to go to all these amazing places but I just you guys know I'm such a home bird like there's no place like home for me like so I'm just excited um, yeah to have some lovely wholesome weekends at home yeah B-I-N-G-O 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 and bingo was his name oh Buongiorno Hello everybody, I've missed you all. It's been a good few days now since I've picked up my camera and checked into this vlog. Um, obviously, as you can see, we are back home in the humble abode. I'm very happy about it. We had the most insane, incredible week in Barbados, but like I was just saying in that last part of the vlog that I'm editing right now, for me, 
home is the best place in the entire world. I realized that <laughs> basically I've actually filmed a couple of videos um, that I haven't put out yet, but annoyingly they're all from now before Barbados and I'm talking a lot in those vlogs about the fact that I were going away and I was talking a lot about the fact that I actually have bought myself a new camera. Like basically a lot of the stuff in this vlog I've realized like won't really make sense because I'm talking about a lot of things that I've spoken about in vlogs that you have you're meant to have seen but you've not seen if that makes sense so um basically i got a new camera <laughs> i'm sure you guys will probably have noticed because the footage looks substantially different and i'm not sure as of yet if i prefer it um i want to prefer it because this camera cost me a lot of money and i really really wanted to improve the video quality for you guys I, even though my vlogs literally consist of me doing absolutely nothing just talking rubbish i wanted to make the <laughs> pants footage that i do get um as good as possible for you guys but i just don't know if i'm <sighs> i don't know i a lot of it's very zoomed in the sound quality is probably exactly the same as my other camera which is a lot cheaper i mean i'm going to keep it now because i don't have the box and stuff but i don't know let me know what you guys think of the um quality of this vlog down below and if you guys prefer my normal videos or if you preferred the much more like hd professional camera um because if you prefer my old footage i'll just swap it straight back like for example now i'm holding my camera quite far away and like it's very zoomed in like i feel like it's literally just my face and also oh my lord it shows every single floor like there was a clip of me talking after the wedding and i look like i've aged 4500 years like i literally oh my god i was like is it me like am i the drama or is it the camera lens that's the drama like because something's going on there anyway guys if you made it to the end of this video i love you millions comment down below what you'd like to see me film next i don't think i'm gonna put out the videos that i filmed before barbados just because the content is just old now and i'd rather just like start afresh now i'm home get back on it we'll just quickly mention on the way home bambi literally she broke my heart with just how incredible she was like genuinely guys from the minute we got on the plane she didn't make a single sound she was still asleep when we were getting our luggage off the conveyor belt at the airport the air hostesses came over to me on the plane and they were like no we've never seen anything like this like this is abnormal they're like this baby has not made a sound this whole journey and i was like listen i am blessed like i seriously am blessed i'm blessed but at the same time like i'm really proud that like my little family and me and tommy like we've managed to i don't know like because I do think it's obviously down to like her being amazing but at the same time like I know it's down to us like looking after her well and like surrounding her with love and like making her feel safe and secure and she just doesn't feel like she needs to cry I don't know it just makes me like feel really happy and like emotional and just proud that like she's obviously doing well because she's just the best I just love her to pieces and I just feel like this holiday even brought us all closer together and it was just amazing the wedding was incredible it was just all so 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 amazing this clip's been ages I need to stop because this vlog is getting way too long anyway guys I love you all millions and hopefully I will see you all in my next video bye guys